back to Helena's Craft Barn. My name is Helen. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I made these cute hot chocolate toppers and these fun fake fraps. So join me today. For this project, you will need to choose the style of cup you want for the shake that you're making. I chose these two milkshake type glasses. And you want to start by tracing um, them on a piece of cardboard and you want to cut them out so the circles fit inside your glass and then I took my white craft paint and mixed in a little bit of brown and a little bit of yellow just to give that um, more of a vanilla flavored color if that makes sense and by pouring it in this way um, it takes a little longer to dry but it does save you from having those brush marks, so you only need one coat. For my chocolate shake, I took my brown and I mixed in a little bit of craft glue, and this will help it to set and not mix with my other paint. You just wanna go ahead and drizzle it on the inside of your glass, and then let it drip down. And once that is dry, you're able to add your milkshake. I took lighter brown craft paint and mixed in a little bit of white. I made sure not to mix it completely so you get a little bit of that marble look. And again here you just want to let the paint run throughout your whole entire cup, filling, filling the cup with the color of paint you've chosen. And then you will want to let this dry overnight. So while that's drying, I went ahead and took my wood beads and filled the holes with some wood filler. And these will be our marshmallows. For my chocolate squares, I took my chocolate brown craft paint and I am going to paint my scrabble bits. These ended up getting two coats of paint. And then while my chocolate is drying, I went ahead and sanded my beads nice and smooth and then gave them two color, sorry, two coats of white. And they make the perfect fake marshmallow, I think. For my chocolate shavings, I went ahead and sharpened a brown pencil crayon and then just took the brown shavings from that and those are my chocolate sprinkles. So now that the cup has dried from the inside, you can go ahead and fill it with a plastic or a grocery bag. Styrofoam would work as well, I think. And then you want to take your uh, cardboard rounds that you cut out and place them inside your cup. And then I went ahead and glued them in uh, for a little extra security. And I ended up not having a piping bag, but I just cut the corner of a Ziploc bag and inserted my piping tip, and this works just as well. You just add your, your speckle or your whipped cream, and you pipe it on as you, you would your whipped cream. 
the texture is obviously a little thicker so you have to um, push a little harder for it to come out but it is um, it looks just as real afterward and as you can see here if you are not happy with it the first time you can scrape it off and try again And you want to make sure to decorate it while it's still wet. Just adding my, my little bits of detail here. And once you have your um, desired um, ingredients extras on there, um, you just want to make sure you let this sit for a couple of days to let it completely cure and dry. I cut a um, straw, just a, a little bit on the end, and then you want to stick that in. And for my milkshake, sorry, um, hot chocolate topper, um, you want to take a cardboard um, and trace your mug, and you want it to fit on top of the mug. This way you can switch it up seasonally with a different cup. And then you want to do the same thing. You just want to pipe it onto your cardboard and then go ahead and decorate it while it's wet. And with these toppers, you want them to sit um, a few hours at least before trying to move them. The cardboard does get soft from this speckle. And then you just want to add it to your cup and voila! I am so happy how they turned out. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. Have a great day.